Hey guys, it's Leanne. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my April 2021 wrap up. So I read 14 books in the month of April and the first book was Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. I absolutely love Colleen Hoover. I gave this book five stars and it's about a girl named Beira who uh, there are some events that happen in her life which isn't so great. She has to go move in with her father for the summer before college. And uh, she really didn't spend that much time with her father growing up, maybe like two weeks in the summer for like 10 years or something. So she's basically moving to Texas with a father she doesn't know. She doesn't even realize that he's remarried and has a stepdaughter, which would be her stepsister. And uh, so it's basically like a new life with her father, her stepmother, her stepsister, and a boy next door. And Colleen Hoover books are usually beautifully tragic and this one doesn't disappoint. The second book I read was A Dark and Stormy Murder by Julia Buckley. This is the first book in the Writer's Apprentice series. And it's about a woman named Lena who becomes an apprentice to this best-selling suspense author, Camilla. And basically she takes the job as an assistant and she moves into Camilla's mansion and things happen, including a murder. And I'm going to say I rated this book two stars and that's probably because, I know it's because of the author, uh, the, I'm sorry, the narrator. I thought she was horrible and I couldn't, it took me so long every time I started listening to this book again to get back into it. I didn't remember anything that really went on. And this was for the Killing Time with Cozy's book club for April. And I mean, everybody else loved it. So I really just have to think that it was me and the narrator because I could barely even remember anything that anybody said about the book. Like when somebody would mention something like, oh yeah, I guess that did happen. The narrator just really took me out of it. Okay, so the next book I read was The Perfect Neighbor by Nora Roberts. This is number 10 and the final book in the McGregor series. And I gave the book five stars, but it was really, the book was really four stars and I gave five stars for the series. Um, all these books are about this Scottish man, Daniel McGregor, uh, meeting the love of his life and then hooking up all of his children and grandchildren and random other side relatives with you know his matchmaking skills and that's pretty much what the whole series was about uh there actually that's not true there were two books that go back in time back in scotland and like they were more like war time books but pretty much anything with the daniel did with daniel mcgregor and it was like him matchmaking his family so uh i will seriously miss this family and especially daniel's matchmaking but the book was very good the next three books I read were the also by Nora Roberts and they were the McCade Brothers book number two, three, and four. So two was uh, The Pride of Jared McCade. I gave this one four stars. Book three was The Heart of Jared McCade. I'm sorry, Heart of Devin McCade. And then book four was The Fall of Shane McCade. I gave the first two four stars. I gave the last one three stars. Um, they were they were all just like a regular romance book. I thought the fourth one had a lot of too much paranormal for me in it and what I would expect from a romance book. But the uh, the whole series overall reminded me very much of a later series by her, which was the In Boonesboro trilogy. So I feel like this was kind of like the basis for her later better writing that became that trilogy. Next was a book I read for Amish in April. I know, I think a few people started it. I know that Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books was one of the people that started this. I think, I'm giving her credit, I hope it was her. Um, anyway, so the first book I read was from the Amish Candy Shop Mystery. This one was called Assaulted Caramel by Amanda Flower. 
I gave this one four stars. I thought it was really cute. It's about a girl named Bailey who works as a chocolatier in New York. And um, her grandparents who are Amish, uh, her grandfather's health is sort of failing. So she goes back to Harvest where they live and she has to help in the candy shop. And while this is going on, like a body is found in the candy shop overnight or in the early morning. And now it's sort of a battle between <clears throat> staying in Harvest and helping her grandparents and going back to New York where she's up for this like prestigious master chocolatier, head chocolatier job and her life there. Okay, so the second book for Amish in April was that I read was Lethal Licorice, also by Amanda Flower, also number two in the Candy Shop Mystery. Um, I also gave that four stars. At this point, spoiler alert, <laughs> um, Bailey winds up staying in Harvest to help her grandmother with the candy shop. And I like this one because while the first one was more about um, Bailey and her her decision to go either to New York or stay in Harvest, this one let you in more on getting to know the characters in Harvest. So you start to know more of the English and Amish community that she's moved into. Now, um, I, I also just remember that the other person was Sarah, the bookish knitter, who also did this with Elizabeth. So um, I want to give credit. So in this, in the, in the Amish in April, you had to like complete like a little tic-tac-toe board. So I completed the diagonal, which was cozy, contemporary, and crime? Yeah, crime. The next book I read was Lakota Woman by Mary Crowdog. I rated this book three stars. Um, it's kind of hard when you're like rating someone's life. Because I, I mean, obviously it's her opinions and her thoughts and what was going on in her life. So all I'm really going to say about this is it has mostly to do with her life as a Native American activist and her life growing up in South Dakota and her not so great experiences growing up and uh the one positive I did take away from it was she did talk a lot about a lot of like the tribal rituals and stuff that her husband and some of the elders in the tribe did which I did enjoy that part of it uh so I also started finishing up another series which was the Blossom Street series by Debbie Maycomer so the next book I read was number seven in that series, and that's Hannah's List. And this was a book about a widower who's trying to find love again based on a list that his wife left for him, for, her to, for him to read on the one year anniversary of her death. And it's basically she picked out three women she thought would be good for her husband to marry or fall in love with and it's his experiences with these three women. The next book was number eight in the Blossom Street series by Debbie Maycomer and that was A Turn in the Road which I gave five stars and this book is about three generations of women who go on a road trip together and basically it's a turn in the road to see where their life takes them on three new journeys that these ladies go on. So number nine in the Blossom Street series by Debbie Maycomer is the next book that I read, and that is Starting Now, and I gave that book four stars. And this is about a woman named Libby whose life takes some unexpected downfalls, and it's how she picks herself back up again. It interweaves with other characters from Blossom Street and previous books, and the way that them meeting their lives change because of their meeting. That one I gave four stars to as well. And the last book in that series, number 10, was Blossom Street Brides. Again, like the McGregor series, I would say I would give the four, the 10th book four stars, but overall I gave it five stars for the whole series. And this is about some people from A Turn in the Road and how they're dealing with the second marriages and some other situations that come up and um, some best friends and mother-daughter relationships and how, you know, in that cozy feel-good way, like how love can heal all. So it, 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 was, it was a good book. 
Okay, so the last book I read for the month was called Murder in the Cookbook Nook by Ellery Adams. This is number seven in the Book Retreat Mystery Series. And uh, so this story takes place in Storyton Village in Virginia at a place called Storyton Hall, which is like a book lover's dream. There's like all different genres of books. There's all like little perfect spots you could read in, uh, like outside and little libraries and stuff. And so each book, a bunch of guests come for an event and that's usually how a murder takes place. So um, you're never really invested in the, the victim or any of those people. You're invested in the characters of the people that work at Storyton Hall, which is Jane and her aunt and uncle and her twin sons who are super cute, Hem and Fitz, and other people that work there. So this book one, this one was about a, uh, a cook-off, like a cooking show, cooking competition thing. And like I said, most of the time or all of the time, the books revolve around guests getting killed. There were a couple books where it was more about Jean and her life, and I thought those were a little bit more interesting. Um, I'd say three and a half stars for this book. Four stars if I want to bump it up just because I'm really liking the people that work there and some of the people in the village and stuff. Uh, but again, you're never I'm never really invested in the murder part of it. And so that's it. That's my wrap up for April. Um, I have a huge TBR for May, so I need to get back to reading on that since I'm trying to read a book a day, along with a long list of other things I uh, discussed in my May TBR. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for the people who've already subscribed and I will see you next time. Thanks. Fuck, I wasn't recording that whole time. Oh! <laughs> Man, uh, I thought I was doing good this time.